There were many different ideas when I was coming up for the design, but I was clear on one thing. For a one-bedroom unit, I needed space maximization. I wanted to make use of the high ceilings. Being in the Katong Juchet area, I wanted a bit of a modern colonial vibe. And that was the whole design concept, which was how could I make it timeless? How could I make it understated, simple and clean? My name is Ruth. I'm a client relationship manager in the media industry. I've been living in this apartment for six months. It is a one-bedroom unit, 699 square feet in the Katong area. Before we go on, let me just share with you about an exciting new launch in Lentor Hills, Lentoria. Inspired by private park homes, Lentoria is landscaped with flora gardens and water features that blur the boundary of home and nature. You can rest and play however you like with curated facilities such as the 50 meter lap pool, forest fitness, garden lounge, sky terrace and more. Lentoria has a total of 267 premium units ranging from one to four bedroom and all of them are designed for flexible living in mind. The walls in the units are easily transformable, allowing you to easily customise your space to fit your needs and lifestyle. Apart from a short stroll to the nearby malls, you'll also get sheltered access to both the bus stop and Lento MRT station. And for families with little ones, Lentoria is located within a one kilometre to renowned primary schools. So if you'd like to learn more about Lentoria, you can visit this showroom or click on the link in the description box below. Alright, now let's head back to our tour. The consideration for my entryway was to keep it simple and to keep it functional. And with that was the design elements to help me achieve that. Started with the colour scheme as well as the bench feature, which had curved lines, it had an open space at the bottom and a light feature. The first thing you see when you enter the home is the open kitchen. It is the heart of the home. I wanted it to be maximised for storage, but also has an ease of movement as I do enjoy hosting. The kitchen and the pantry is demarcated into two zones with the use of colours. The pantry carpentry is wood with hints of grey, and this serves as my coffee station as I do enjoy making and drinking coffee. Additionally, the pantry has storage space that is built in. The main kitchen is a dark green in colour, and this highlights the greenery surrounding the balcony area, essentially bringing elements from the outside into the home. At first, we were worried about the size and placement of the kitchen island, as space is very limited in a one-bedroom. So we customised this multifunctional kitchen island, which also serves as an additional kitchen top and dining table. It's finished with a quartz top with rounded edges, which gives a softer look. It also has plenty of storage with a built-in pull-out chopping board. To complete the space and to add a pop of colour and contrast, we added an end tradition flower pot lamp. One of the considerations was to take advantage of the high ceilings of the apartment. Because I work from home often, I wanted a dedicated study to be part of the living space. We came up with a space-saving solution to combine the pantry with the study to designate the utility space for the home. And to create contrast between the various spaces of the home, we chose a light wood laminate combined with reeded glass panels to create negative space in the high ceilings. We demarcated the kitchen and the living areas with a change in tiles to engineered wood. We also extended the carpentry of the study to create a TV console underneath and kept things low in contrast with the study. To create some texture in the space, we used lime wash paint for the TV walls. I specifically wanted privacy between the living and my bedroom. We created a wooden cladded wall that extends up to the ceiling accentuating the high ceilings. But because we're in the Juchet area, 
I wanted to add a nod to the heritage shop houses by adding wooden beams to the ceiling. As the home is small, the furniture needs to be more specific in size. So we found this sofa bed from Marquise and a Muto coffee table. The balcony is currently empty, but I have plans to put more plants outside to provide some sort of privacy. We segregated the living room with the master bedroom with arched French doors with reeded glass for the flow of light and the illusion of a bigger space. We maximised the use of awkward spaces with high ceilings for our master bedroom by adding a floor-to-ceiling light teal wardrobe that not just stores our clothes but also household appliances. We customised a bed frame with a headboard having an extended bedside table perfect for conserving space. Separating the bathroom is a frosted glass door for privacy, yet maximising the light spilling through the home. We were heavily inspired by the body of water facing the balcony and wanted to extend those elements into the bathroom with a cooler colour palette and natural materials. Living in this space, I'm enjoying my interpretation of a modern colonial feel that is both edgy and vibrant. People are surprised by the use of space and contrast you can create in a one-bedroom apartment. I'm proud with the space we have created. Thanks for staying till the end. If you'd like to connect with the designer of this home, visit the link in the description below and find out how you can receive a complimentary $500 Dexto voucher.